Bangalore 2000 plus people take part in, pink up the pace, run against breast cancer around 2000 men and women run for a distance of 5 kilometers, starting from Kempegoda playground, besides New Horizon School, Rajarajeshwari Nagara Bangalore, and ending at the BGS Glen Eagles Global Hospital campus in Kengari. Pink up the pace, a 5 km run for breast cancer awareness was organized by BGS Glen Eagles Global Hospital in association with Run Addicts as their fitness partner. Rotary Bengaluru Nyanekshi Club as community partner and SJB College of Management Studies as education partner. The run saw active participation from citizens, patients, cancer survivors, doctors of BGS Glen Eagles Global Oncology Cancer Institute. Core committee members of BGS Glen Eagles, Saki, Breast Cancer Support Group alongside members and representatives from Run Adapts. And Rotary Bengaluru Nyanekshi Club, speaking on the importance of early detection and screening mammography Dr. Monica Pansari, HOD and Senior Consultant Surgical Oncology, BGS Glen Eagles Global Hospitals commented, only way to encourage women in our country to undergo a mammogram is by creating awareness about breast cancer and by explaining about the benefits offered by a mammogram. in 2020 September but then through these people's help, doctors help I could fight and my last uh, 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 treatment was on 13th of September this year and after that all the results came out okay for the doctors that's what they said and that's why I'm standing here and the awareness two, two long years I was coming every three weeks to this hospital it's only last month I have missed Thank you so much. Padma Bhatia um, operated two years back. I'm 77 plus. And I'm okay. I think uh, fear is more dangerous than uh, So we are, I'm very grateful to her. So I got oh, not only operated, but I got so much love from her. Thank you. Everyone, my name is Anupama. So um, I'm married since uh, 17 years, and I have two kids of eight year old. So last year, 
by this time I was in the chemo ward. So I was taking my third chemo and today I could able to walk 5 kilometers in uh, 34 minutes. <laughs> this moment to thank three trios in this hospital, Dr. Monika Pansari, Dr. Matangi and uh, Dr. Rajiv. Before that, I would just like to tell everyone, so first thing is accept. So whenever you are diagnosed with, so just accept the thing first. So when you accept from your gate, so the oh, treatment yeah. parts, they will take care of that. So you have to take care of your body and mind. You should be prepared for the treatment. So then only you could be able to respond to the treatment and you can win this battle, I can say. So this journey was not a very smooth journey. It was not like a walk on the cake. So definitely it was a roller coaster walk. Uh, because you are going to lose your physical identity. You are going to lose your hair. You are going to lose stamina. So it was a like, very difficult journey, I can say. But it's not difficult to win the battle. So whenever this cancer knocks your door, you just say hi to it. Because at the final, at the end, the cancer is going to lose the battle and not us. Thank you. to share this uh, journey i think i already spoke in the morning whoever was there in the ground so i was uh, detected with uh, this cancer in 2020 september but then through these people's help, doctors help i could fight and my last uh, uh, treatment was on 13th of september this year and after that all the results came out okay for the doctors that's what they said and that's why i'm standing here and the awareness two two long years i was coming every three weeks to this hospital this only last month i have missed Thank you so much. Padma Bhatia um, operated two years back. I'm 77 plus. And I think uh, fear is more dangerous than good. Uh, so we are I'm very grateful to her. So I got oh, not only operated, but I got so much love from uh, her. Thank you. Everyone, my name is Anupama. So, um, I'm married since uh, 17 years and I have two kids of 8 year old. So, last year, by this time, I was in the chemo ward. So, I was taking my third chemo and today I could be able to walk 5 kilometers in uh, 34 minutes. And um, I would take uh, this moment to thank Three trios in this hospital, Dr. Monika Pansari, Dr. Matangi and uh, Dr. Rajiv. Before that, I would just like to tell everyone, so first thing is accept. So whenever you are diagnosed with, so just accept the thing first. So when you accept from your gate, so the oh, treatment yeah. parts, they will take care of that. So you have to take care of your body and mind. You should be prepared for the treatment. So then only you could be able to respond to the treatment and you can win this battle, I can say. So this journey was not a very smooth journey. It was not like a walk on the cake. So definitely it was a roller coaster walk. Uh, because you are going to lose your physical identity. You are going to lose your hair. You are going to lose stamina. So it was a like, very difficult journey, I can say. But it's not difficult to win the battle. So whenever this cancer knocks your door, you just say hi to it. Because at the final, at the end, the cancer is going to lose the battle and not us. Thank you. <laughs>
ಸಂತ ಹತ್ರ ಕಳಿಸಿದ್ರು ನನಗೆ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲ ತಿದ್ದಿ ನನಗೆ ಹೇಳಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿ ಇದು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬಂದು ನಾನೇ ಕುತ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟೆ ಮೇಡಮ್ ನನಗೆ ನಾಳೆ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಸರಿ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡೆ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಕಿಮೋ ಆಯ್ತು ರಾಜು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಹತ್ರ ಹೋದೆ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲ ಸಮಾಧಾನದಿಂದ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೇಳಿ ನನಗೆ ಕಿಮೋ ಕೊಟ್ರು ಕಿಮೋ ಆಗ ನಮ್ಮ ಅತಂಗಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಹತ್ರ ಹೋದ್ವಿ ಅವ್ರು ನನಗೆ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಕೊಟ್ರು ಎಲ್ವತ್ನಾಗ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ 